Ah, it's springtime. The flowers are blooming. There are so many colors in each of these flowers, and the day is perfect. Springtime is beautiful, and that is until we see these rabbits. Now, at first, they look like they're doing their usual thing. They're eating. They're walking around. They're invading our privacy in the front yard. But that is until we see one of them is doing something else. We saw one of the bunnies going around in our backyard and lurking, going from spot to spot, seemingly looking for something. And that's when we realized that it was looking for dry grass, which means that it's trying to create a nest, which also means that the bunny is trying to start a family and have babies. We're not exactly sure where the nest is, so we're just observing the rabbit to see where it keeps going. However, the rabbit seems to know that we're watching it and doesn't want to head into the direction of the nest, thinking that we're predators. The bunny is so small that even though it's having babies, it looks like a baby itself. At this time, we were also growing our garden in the backyard and we had plenty of vegetables that were starting to grow from jalapenos to peppers to even watermelons and squash. And look, these are some giant vegetables. And then we found something interesting in the radish patch. Huh. And the radish patch, what's that? The screams are coming from something, but what are these? Something is moving around. Is it mouse pup? But do they scream like this? Or is it squirrel pup? I'm not sure. Something is moving around that hole. I'm concerned. So, we think these are squirrel babies right now, actually. So, the squirrel baby is... How many? Three. There's three of them? Yes, three. One, two, three. There might be more. I did not know that. Out of all places, why are they here? I don't know. Can you smell that? It smells terrible. It is going inside. Oh, it's going inside again. They're going inside the hole deeper. There's more than three, I think. More than three. One, two, three, four. I can see so already many. four. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> six. We cannot prevent the squirrel. It can come from anywhere. That's why the radish is not growing. Oh, it's jumping around. Oh, they're jumping around right oh, now. Oh, no. This is so cute. Can you pick them? Can you pick them by hand? Ah, I can see three. Oh, look at them jumping around. Might be more. Just pick them up through the ears. Yeah, just... Just, yeah. But softly, gently. Gently and put it on the top of it. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is so cute, but what is it? Mice? Squirrel? The tail is small, yeah. Huh. What is it? Squirrel? 
But tail is missing. There's a small tail. On Big the back. tail is missing. Yeah. Oh, it's so cute. I think this could be a rabbit. Yeah, it might be. I think we were talking about it being a squirrel or a mouse, but I think it's a rabbit. Yes, yes, yes. It's a small tail. Look at it. Yeah, it's yes. Yeah, rabbit ears are yes, also. Yes, yes, it's rabbit. I'm pretty sure it is a rabbit. So the rabbit is making the it made the nest in my radish patch. Huh. I think it got hot for the rabbit. I put it back. Huh, put them back. Rabbit. <gasps> Look at him go inside. The way it is going inside. It's so funny, but so cute. It smells terribly <laughs> cute, though. Let's get out. Yes, get out. We were afraid that some predators might have spotted the bunnies and possibly eaten them. So we covered them with the fur that their mother had already left. The next morning, we came to check on them, and they were doing just fine. Even though it wasn't even a full day since the last time we saw them, they look to be a leaf just a little bit bigger. This means that their mother is going and feeding them, and that's a good sign. This is how our family shows affection towards the rabbits. These words don't really mean anything other than that. Do you see the sky is getting darker with heavy clouds? Did you check the, wet, the weather forecast? I did not. If it rains, then the babies will get drenched. Ooh, we need to cover the nest. Let's, let's put up a tent to protect the babies. Because the rain was pending, we just created a small tent out of plastic material to cover the babies. Soon, the thunderstorm was over and the rain had finished. We went to go check on the rabbits and we saw that the tarp had kept them dry. Now, on to the next day. Ah, I guess they're enjoying their nest. It seems a cozy nest and they're just jumping around, loving each other's company. Oh, they're so cute. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, five are there. I think they're feeling cold. I need to get them covered. Next day, they're still in their nest. Ah, they're still feeling cozy, I guess. But they are not opening their eyes till now. The next day, yeah, they're still there. Hey, sweetie babies. Ah, I don't see that they're opening their eyes. They just... They're getting close to each other, I think, to keep themselves warm. But it seems that getting a little bigger, it means that their mama is coming at an interval and feeding them. 
Oh, look at them. They're jumping around. They're trying to explore, I guess. But still not opening their eyes. Oh, so cute. Look at them. <laughs> look at them. Hey, babies. Hey, babies. Come on. Come on. The next day, it, they're still sleeping. They're still sleeping. And still clumping together to make themselves warm, it seems. <sighs> Why don't you get up? Why are you sleeping all the time? You are getting bigger. That is definite. Mom is feeding them. Let's see. Oh yeah! They have opened their eyes. Still in the nest. Like, whoa, babies. I think it's time to get out of the nest. They're feeling cold. <laughs> I need to cover them, I guess. But they are opening their eyes. I think they're getting bigger. Getting proper nutrition from their mom. Yeah, let's come out, come out. <laughs> it ran away. Uh, what do I do now? Uh, Since it ran away. I think it will come back. Got scared, I think. I think put it back. Uh oh. <laughs> I don't know if I can get it. It's gonna run away. Uh, I think it will come back on its own. It's running away. It's running away. It's running away in the ring. What do I do now? I don't know. Uh oh. The another one is. <laughs> Another left. Uh oh, uh oh. But I think it will come back. They will come back. Because it's raining outside, right? It came back, it came back. You have to chase them from the other side so they come back into the hole. Come back, come back. Should I coax it to come back? Come back, sweetie. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> uh -oh. Left another one. <laughs> Where's the other one? The mother rabbit will come back. Uh, they will be just running around. They, they, they are just getting big. So, um, yeah, the mom will come and put them back. Towards the evening of the same day, we noticed that all of the bunnies were back in their nest, sitting tight. So, this means that in the morning, in the daytime, they explore, while in the nighttime, they get fed by their mother. On day nine, we saw that all of the bunnies were sitting back in their nest, laying and sleeping tight. At this point, when we uncovered the bunny nest, we saw that they were all alert and they were waiting for something. So we thought that they were waiting for their mother to come and feed them.
on day 12, we saw one of the bunnies was outside of its nest, laying on the gravel path in our garden, and it seemed to be just exploring outside of its nest. Even though we did get pretty close to the bunny, it didn't really seem to mind us being there. It's only been four days, but look at how much we've grown since the last time we saw them. Look at how they're jumping around. Another four days later, we were just looking outside our window when we saw the mother rabbit nursing its baby rabbits. Because this was such a private moment between a mother and her children, we were only observing from afar so we didn't invade their privacy. On day 26, we saw one of the rabbits leaving its nest, and it seemed like it would be the last time it would leave its nest. We did get pretty close to the rabbit, and even though we were that close, it didn't seem to mind us at all, because we saw it taking care of itself. Just a few days later, we saw that two of the bunnies had gone to on our deck and started to explore it. So, as an experiment, we gave them some lettuce for them to eat. And, of course, they started to eat it. And after seeing us on the deck, they looked to be pretty comfortable in their little corner. That was the last time that we ever seen those bunnies. However, as one family departed, another one had started to form. Around our backyard, we saw two robins circling around a tree, which meant that there was something nearby. And sure enough, there was a robin nest. In our front yard, we saw that these male and female catbirds were snooping around these bushes. And they were also collecting materials, like that paper scrap. So we figured that they were creating a nest, and they were also ready to start their own family. Going back to the backyard, those robin eggs had hatched. One of these robin chicks thought that the camera was its mother and started to open its mouth for food. Some of the robin chicks started to open their eyes much sooner than the baby rabbits did. Can you hear those little chirps? They're so adorable. The chirping never seemed to end with these robins. Something passed by the tree, and all of these robin chicks thought that it was their mother. Look at how they opened their mouths for their food. These baby robins were so adorable with how they chirped for their mother's food. 
However, one day, they were no longer in their nest. It turns out that our mother had seen two robins chasing around a much bigger bird. And we figured that that bigger bird had actually eaten the baby robins. However, life goes on. Such is the way of life, of birth, death, and feeling for other animals. Although cruel, nature can also be beautiful.